Hi everybody and welcome back to another edition of Punk the Junk Car Mods Garage. Alright, over the winter we have built a uh, 302 into a 347. We have a Edelbrock air gap intake on it, a 750 Edelbrock carburetor, a EFI distributor, kind of like a Chevy. Um, but we might change this application due to the fact that if you're going to use the heater core and stuff like that, the plug-in right here for the uh, heater hose is uh, right tight to this distributor. Um, we have equal length headers. We have on it the uh, performance fan belt gears for the alternator, the water pump, and the harmonic balancer. Okay, we come to you today because we are working on wiring. We are modifying the factory wiring harness from the 4.6 motor and we are putting it in for the 302. Basically, you have everything in that wiring harness to hook it up to the 347. But, it's a mind blower. Um, there's a lot of wires, a lot of things that can get into your mind. Um, and that's why we haven't did the video from the start it's just too hard to keep an eye on doing video and doing this wiring. Um, your basics is your wires that go to your starter from your alternator, you know, your battery, and then from your fuse box that is over there, your factory fuse box. Now, we are going to be putting our battery into the trunk into a battery box and everything so we have to run wires all the way to the back but we need to hook up to the fuse box here and the reason that is is because everything comes out of there runs all the way over and into the car on this side here now if you've ever tore your car apart you notice that your back wiring harness comes into the fuse box fuse box which is under the dash on that side of the car. They did that because the computer sits here. We eliminated the computer. You still have plugins th there that go to your dash, your dome lights, your fuel cell, or your fuel tanks on this side of the car that run there. So you have several plugins in the inside of the car which I will add a picture to it here. Now you have here, you have your wiring harness that comes up here. It comes together from your wiring harness that runs all the way over there, which is basically you have your coil wires in it. Now on the four or six mod motor, they had two coils. So basically you're eliminating one of the wires that go to the coil because all you need is the one that goes to the battery for the EFI. Now if you go to the other one, it's still the same way. You have to put an MSD box here on the firewall and uh, that makes it work with the other four distributors. The, the, I should say the 77 to 78 model, 79, right in there, which is basically electronic too. Uh, all the system here is going to be electronic, except for the carburation and stuff. Um, you have your oil pressure wire, you have your temperature wire, you have your, again, your distributor wire, 
You have your wires for the alternator, which run right over there. My suggestion is to you is to go out and get you one of these books. Now I'll show a close-up picture of it, and I will get a link to it for you so that you can get one. Um, we got this one. It shows you everything in it. You know, your lifters, all that stuff. Tells you what your stuff is for. Uh, the actually it goes from 1994 through 2004. So it has your 302 motor in it. But again, if you're going the way we are, um, and let's call it hot rodding it out, um, you're eliminating a lot of the stuff like we did. We eliminated the big gawky brackets. We used the 4.6 brake and power steering pump. We had to modify a bracket there. We had to modify a bracket here to keep everything nice and tight, which I like. I wanted plenty of space here because with this application, if I wanted to go turbos, I still have plenty of room in here to go turbos. Uh, we are going to go uh, with NOS and all that basically hooks up to the bracket that's down below on the carburetor. Um, we've went to the 95 motor mount for the 302 in this. The K member is the original 97 K member. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that you cannot use the mod motor K member for the 302. That is wrong. Since 1978, 2004 from the Fox body to the SN95 body style they've used the same K member. The only thing that is different is your A arms and they're a little longer and a little shorter. Now that being said this motor dropped right in. I mean we sat it down it went right into its spot just had to bolt it down. We have a AOD automatic transmission in it. We changed it from the T45, which comes with the mod motor, to the AOD. We had to change our pedals out. We had to change our shifting mechanism out. Um, you can also go with the T5 and leave your basic stick set up in there for the T5. Um, then you won't have to change out the wiring harness. The wiring harness that goes to the trans is out of a 96 Mustang SN95, which it is basically all we got to do to take out of this wiring harness is to take out things that go to the exhaust. I can never remember what they are. Anyhow, for your pollution control. So we got to eliminate that out of the wiring harness back here. Otherwise, everything else will go into it and plug right in. So what we're doing today is wiring and eliminating wires. Now, opening up the wire, basically what you want to do is find your little split in your coating if you're going to save it, otherwise you can buy new. Run a razor blade down it real fine. This is not black tape. This is just a covering. I would call it a tape, but it's just a covering. It's not sticky, and you can peel it right off. Um, and then take your wires and expose your wires. In the back of the book, they will give you every diagram, wire color coding, and everything for the 4.6 and for the 5.0, which is 302, 347, 289, whatever your application may be that you're going to. And you'll be able to know what wires are what and where they go. Also, 
to do it in a clean manner, I'm going to use this coil wire here, for example. There's a little red thing in here. You pop that out. And down in the bottom there are where your wires are, your little plugs. You got a little bit of clip in there, you just got to push on it, and then you can pull the wire out. You trace that wire all the way down through over to this box here. Now, to pull the clip out, you need a pair of needle nose pliers. You reach in, you grab the little red thing in here, you wiggle it until it comes out all right now in the inside here you can see each little prong there's a little clip in there what you do is you push that clip in there I don't know if you can see that very well or not and that will release the wire and you just pull it out the back when you're done you place your little red thing back in there, push it down in, and it'll snap into place. It holds the little clips from coming undone. And that's how you take, you know, you pull your wires up. Same way with this one here. You get a hold of it with something, you can pop it right out, and you can take the wire out of it. Now, when you do that, you know, make sure you got the right wire. You can go on the back side of it, grab the wire that you want, wiggle it around, and your prong will move, which will allow you to know which wire it is to pull out. You know, to hit the clip in there. And snap it back together. Which, in this box here, it's a connector here, you do the same thing. It has these little red keepers, we'll call them. You pull the keeper out, and then it's got a little prong, you pull your wire out, which gives it clean. Now we definitely are not leaving these wires like this. We are gonna buy a smaller coating because the diameter of the coating for the 4.6 is that big around and when you're done, you're gonna have the size of my thumb. So we need to buy smaller coating to make it clean looking. Another thing is to have you some masking tape to take your wires and to put on there what they're for to help you keep track of what's what. We up to the date on the wiring and I, and stuff like that. Um, we have not been a detail for detail on our motor build. There's links out there to build these motors and stuff like that on YouTube. Uh, we will post some links that will help you get to building your motor, doing your valves, um, intake, water pump, you know, uh, basically everything to build your motor, your ring, your piston, stuff like that. What we're doing is we're showing that this can be done with a newer style, or I shouldn't say newer style, but the new SN95, the latest models of that, uh, the 4.6s and stuff. This motor has in it, uh, I told you before, the intake and stuff like that. We have GT40 heads on it, which come off of an Explorer. Um, that's where you find the GT40 heads. We have a 95 water pump on it. Um, Basically, everything else is the same. Uh, to modify, you go over here. You need to make a bracket for your, if, if you decide to keep the 97 
um, power steering pump for the brakes and everything and the brake hookup, you need to move your reservoir. Your reservoir usually sat here on the motor and basically all you do is turn the tube, make you a bracket to go on the side here and bolt it to the side. It has to be higher than the power steering pump because it's a gravity flow and um, the booster and all that's the same. Uh, this is great for an application that you don't want to use the vacuum booster on the 94, 95 setup uh, like the box bodies and stuff like that. This does not take vacuum. This motor has a big cam in it. Um, it is not for vacuum. So what we did is we kept our application for the power steering and stuff so we could have power steering and modified it over. You also have to modify your bracket or make a bracket for your throttle. You can use the same cable and everything <clears throat> and modify a bracket so that your throttle will hook up to your carburetor. And thank you for watching Punk of Junk Car Mods Garage. Remember, like, subscribe, and share if you want to share it. Thanks.